welcome back to verse of the week. This week our verse is found in 1 Peter. So if you have your Bibles, grab them and open them to chapter 5, verse 7 and 8. And it reads, Be self-controlled and alert. Your enemy the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him. Stand firm in the faith because you know that your brothers throughout the world are undergoing the same kind of sufferings. The verse reminded me how easy it is sometimes to feel like we are the only ones facing a hardship. Sometimes that hardship is feeling like a target at work, like a target at school. Sometimes that hardship is family members not approving of your decisions, be it your career, be it your relationship. Sometimes hardship looks like rejection as well. So maybe you had audition for a worship band you didn't get into, or you had an interview for a job or a ministry position you didn't get into, or a school that you didn't get into. And it's very easy to feel like we are the only ones that are facing a hardship, that we are the only ones facing this pain or this brokenness that the situation has caused. And as I've mentioned previously in some of my videos, I believe that one of the biggest tactics the enemy uses nowadays is isolating us and making us believe that we are the only ones suffering, that we are the only ones facing these things, that we are the only ones questioning our faith or doubting our faith or fighting with our partner, fighting with our family, feeling like we've disappointed our parents. It's only us and everyone else has a perfect life. A lot of it has to do with how social media works nowadays and the comparisons that can go on on there. But the word tells us to be on alert and have that self-control. And part of that self-control is actually stopping that negative thinking and that victim thinking right when it begins. It's not allowing it to take space in our mind, to take space in our hearts, and it's not allowing Allowing the emotions that it brings, that anxiety, that depression, that feeling of being a failure to set into our hearts or our spirits. The enemy is looking for someone to devour and quite frankly we are the ones that are either going to say no, screw off and walk in our faith or we're going to say yeah you know what, I give up. Don't quit on yourself just because you are facing a hardship and don't allow the enemy to trick you into believing that it is only you who has ever faced this. Suffering is something that we are going to face and experience as humans. And what you are facing, perhaps you don't know anyone in your immediate circle that is walking through it, but believe you me, there are millions of people who are facing just what you are facing. Have the self-control to say no to those thoughts. Stand in your faith. Grab onto God, even if you are angry at God. Grab onto his hand and say, you know what? I don't get it. I'm pissed off, but I'm walking it out with you. That is honestly the best decision you can make for yourself during these times. And I actually just want to pray for you guys quickly. Keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes closed. Doesn't matter. I'm going to close mine because it makes me feel more comfortable. God, I just thank you so much for all of these subscribers and all the people watching and hearing your message today. And I just pray for those that are facing difficulties and are feeling targeted, are feeling like failures, are feeling like they're not measuring up to the standards set before them. I just pray that you would just bring your peace and bring your love and the purity of the identity that we hold in you. And in these moments that sometimes we want to walk away and sometimes we want to close the door off to you and just give up, I pray that each person would find the strength to say, you know what, I don't understand and I am angry, but I choose God over the depression. I choose God over the situation and I choose to have faith in the purpose he has for me and my call instead of giving up. And I thank you for bringing the right people into their lives to uplift them and take this journey together with them. In your mighty name, amen. Thanks so much for sitting with me. We will see you guys again later on this week for a quick chat on community. Have a blessed start to your weeks.